show. Don't tell. Writing sensory details, a guide for young authors. Sensory details describe what we notice with our five senses. In this lesson, we'll zoom in on smell and taste. Sensory details bring the world of your story or poem to life. Smells and tastes make characters and settings feel real. The trick to writing tastes and smells motion. Instead of telling us what a taste or smell is like with an adjective like this, she smells something gross. Show us what the smell or taste does like this. The smell of rotting peaches filled the kitchen. Or this, a furry chunk of mold slid down her throat. So how do you write sentences that move? Action verbs. Action verbs. Action verbs. Action verbs. Oh, did I mention action verbs? Action verbs show us what tastes and smells do. Like this, smoke chokes the sky. Or this, the smell of rotting fruit coats the room. Or this, sludge pours into the lake. Or this, the smell of wet earth clings to the air. So how can you tell which verbs are action verbs? Most verbs are action verbs. When you're writing about taste or smell, there are only a few stay still verbs to avoid. I'm talking about be verbs like is, are, was, were, like this one, it was a gross taste. Or have verbs like have, had, has, like this one, it has a bad smell. Or sensory filters like smells, tastes, seems. An example of that is it smells good. These verbs only tell us a taste or smell is there. If you find stay still verbs in your draft that tell, think about revising with action verbs that show. Like this, the smell of hairspray followed me through the room. Or this, smoke chokes the sky. Or this, the smell of rotting fruit coats the room. Even when things seem completely still, they're doing something. Another trick to writing taste and smell, tap into smell or taste memories. Describing a moment that a specific smell or taste brings to mind is a way to show emotion. Let's look at an example by a student author. Whenever I smell lipstick, I think about my auntie. It reminds me of the time I went to her wedding when I was three. The edge of her glass was smeared with red. I was scared of spilling the flower petals, so I squeezed the basket until my hands were sweaty. What emotions would you say the smell of lipstick brings up for this student? Compare the final draft to sentences like, I felt nervous at my auntie's wedding or lipstick has a special smell. Which one is more telling? Which one is more showing? Now, try writing your own smell sentence.